I already know God told you and he promised you that he was going to do something. Um, he gave you visions. He gave you dreams about it. And he also just gave you reassurance that this was going to happen for you. And many of you are discouraged today because you do not see the promise in sight. And you're wondering where God is or you're feeling like you've been so distant. This video today is for you. And so if this is your first time with me. This is your girl, Raya Janae. I'm so glad that you're with me today, but I believe that I have a word just for you. So go ahead and tune in, lock yourself in. It'll be a quick word. Um, and go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'm glad you're here with me today, but let's go ahead and hop into the video. There is absolutely nothing you can do. There's no amount of shame. There's no amount of sin. There's no amount of hate, no amount of a wrongdoing that you could do that will separate you from the love of Christ. Absolutely none, y'all. This is probably about to be the shortest video I've ever made, but I just felt like God gave me this word, and so I just wanted to share it with you because it was encouraging to me. Um, but let's get into it. So God is, the way that he loves you, right, and the way that he cares for you is incomparable to any other love that you've ever ever tasted okay so his love is not conditional you know how it is like when your mom gets mad at you or your dad gets mad at you because they told you to do something and you didn't do it or they feel like they don't agree with your decisions and so now they hate you or now they're not really feeling you his love is a whole different type of love y'all he's a whole different type of parent a whole different type of father um you know how your friends that kind of like throw you away when they feel like dang she's still making the same thing decisions she's still stuck back in the past like people are in this whole cancel culture and so i think sometimes we put those same views that we put on people on god but this type of love is something that you will never ever fully be able to comprehend because we've never seen or known love like this which is why i have to share this with you today and the whole theme and i guess title of this video is just the fact that god's hand is still on you um i know that he's made you promises i know that some of y'all felt like man at one point i was really walking with the lord at one point it was really like this i'm here to tell you that y'all could still be like this all you have to do is just reach your hand out and his hand has already been there matter of fact some of y'all his hand may be just tapping y'all on the shoulder saying dude just look at me like i'm the answer i'm the answer to all your problems i'm actually if you turn to me i can turn your nights literally into morning i can turn everything around for you if you just lean into me. And so I want to share with you the scripture because when I read it, I was like, man, this is crazy. Um, but there's a scripture that's in Psalm. I love Psalm. So if you ever need encouragement, just go to that book. And I know I'm talking fast. I probably need to slow down, but I'm really excited about this word. Anyways, um, it's Psalms 139 verse 8. Check this out. It says, if, if I go up to heavens, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. Another version of it says, if I go to the heavens, you are there. If I go and make my bed in the depths, you are there. Y'all, the depths could literally be anything, okay? The Lord is literally like, okay, if, I, if you go up to heaven, like, I, I'm with you. Like, I'm, I'm there with you. But even when you go to your low place, when you go to your place of depression, when you go to your place where you shutting the walls out and you're trying to get away from everybody and you want to escape, when you're in the jail, when you're in the prison, when you're in the worst situation of your life, when you're in the heartbreak, when you're in the pain, when you're in the grief and you don't want to be bothered by anybody, when you're in your addiction and you're wrestling with it, the Lord is saying that he is right there with you. He loves you so much that he is literally willing to go to the depths with you. What kind of love is that? So many people throw you away. If you've been addicted and you've been strung out for years, your family has already wrote you off because you've already hurt them too much. Um, literally, like if you say something mean to somebody or if you accidentally went off because you were in a bad place, maybe it was an accident, maybe you did it on purpose. But if you did that, you're canceled. You can't come back to the next get together. Like this is a society where so many people want to throw you away, but the father is literally willing to chase you down. I cannot understand that kind of love because I've never known love like that until I knew him. And I'm still wrapping my mind around how much he loves me. And so when I say that God's hand is still on you, I just want you to be encouraged. I'm almost done. But the whole purpose of this video is to encourage you. I know this year just started. We're still in the second month of the year, y'all. 
And although you may not see things unfolding like you thought it was going to unfold or certain doors may already be closing on you, I want you to understand that if God's hand is on you, you will not lose this year. And many of us need to co go to a place and to get in a posture where it says, God, I invite you in. I'm finally going to stop trying to control my situation and I'm going to give you complete control, total access and control over and in my situation. You got it, Lord. And I want you to sit back this year and I want you to sit back in amazement and watch God work because he's willing to blow your mind and he's willing to handle and fight all your battles if you let him. Trials are going to come. I'm not making this video to show, sell you a fairy tale dream and to act like life is just going to be so sweet. Trials are going to come. Life will be life in, right? But at the end of the day, if you do life with the Father, it's going to literally turn your nights into morning. It's literally going to give you peace that's undeniable. People are going to say, how is she still sleeping so well? Or how is he or she still succeeding? And the reality is because God's hand is on you. And so like you're going to operate totally different. And so the, at the end of the day, I feel like how I'm going to wrap this up is just going to ask you to really surrender. Like, I want you to go into this year with a surrendered heart and a surrendered mind because what God can do with that is better than he can do with anything else. Like, if you come to him completely surrendered without your own agenda, I'm not talking about, oh, I'm going to use God to get this or God, let me tap you in now that I'm in a, a pit. And maybe some of us are in a pit and we do need to tap him in, but I'm talking about consistently seeking him on a daily basis. Is going to change the course of your life. And so guys, if you like videos like this, if you feel like this was for you or you feel like you were able to receive this word, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below and just let me know um, if it spoke to you or if you want to see more things like this. But I love to talk about the Lord, y'all. He's been so good to me. And I want y'all to get a taste because he's been sweeter than anything I've ever, ever, ever tasted. And so I hope this video was encouraging to you. But um, just know that God's hand is on you, okay? So no matter who took their hands off of you, his hand is on you. And when his hand is on you, great things can happen, y'all. And so I'll see y'all in the next video. Really short video today, but um, I hope that you are encouraged nevertheless. And tap back into God because he's waiting on you. Oh, actually, there was a song who says that he was there all the time, waiting patiently in line. I love that by James Moore. He was there all the time. He's been there. And he's just waiting for you to tag him back in so he can actually turn your life into a masterpiece because I feel like he definitely